we've had this putzet for nine years, which I know sounds like a long time, but if you figure we're only out camping for four weeks a year at most, that's only 36 years. And as you can see, some of the... <laughs> Hello everybody, welcome to Explorations. My name is Rob. We are at Grundy Lake Provincial Park and today we are reviewing the Bugaboo Camper Pot Set by GSI. This is an aluminum pot set with Teflon nonstick coating. This is the pot set that we use for all our trips, front country, back country, car camping. We use it for all of them. I really like it. We've had this particular set for about nine years. Some of the pieces have been replaced in that time, but for the most part, this is our original set. So, why don't we start by going through the individual pieces and then we'll go over the pros and cons, why I like it, why I don't, what I think might be able to be improved. Before we go through the individual pieces though, I do wanna say that this pot set is designed for use over the stoves or cooktops. It is not meant to go over open fire pits. And I think that is the same for all pot sets with nonstick coating. Uh, putting nonstick coating over fire pits could damage the coating, it could cause the pots to warp, and it leaves an ugly black residue on your pots, which is something I'll discuss with you a little bit later. But yes, it's meant for stoves and cooktops, not for fire. So this is a nesting pot set, meaning that everything you see on the table in front of you all goes into the one big pot, which goes into the carrying case, which makes it a nice compact pot set. Uh, the total pack dimensions are nine inches diameter, about six inches tall, and overall with all the parts, it's about three pounds. So nice and tiny. There are definitely tinier pot sets, but for what we're doing with our car camping and our backcountry camping, this suits us just fine. So let's start with the first parts, and that is our bowls and our cups. And as you can tell, they are essentially the same, but these are listed as bowls and these are listed as cups on the package. So we'll refer to them as that. Uh, as you can see, the cups have this foam insulator, which it's on here for the video. I don't tend to use, I'm not a huge fan of it, but there you are. It will help keep things a little warmer, protect your hands from the warm things inside the cup, or potentially keep them cooler. But as I said, I'm not a big fan. I don't tend to use it. But these cups nest inside each other for a more compact set. The cups also come with these handy lids. And these I do tend to use. They're really good if you are mixing things up inside the cups. It's a way to keep bugs and tree bits and plant bits out if you have something sitting in them for a little while. There you go. In the set, we also have this collapsible handle, which when the set is packed, lives inside the mug or the cup. Um, I really like this style handle. It is a locking handle, meaning there is a piece that retracts and expands, extends into the pot set like so, meaning you can't have your pot fall off when it is full of food, which is really nice. I know some pot sets have different styles. Some of them are just a clamp. Some of them have handles that are integrated into the pot itself. I prefer this style. It is much safer, much more comfortable. Moving on, we have our plates. Like the four cups and four bowls, there are four plates. These all nest together and these sit in between the two pots. As I mentioned, these are Teflon coated, so you wanna be careful with how they're treated, and that is one of the purpose of the plates. When packing up, the plates go in the big pot and the small pot goes on top, like so. That prevents the small pot from rattling around inside and potentially scratching your Teflon finish. Very handy. Your cups and bowls live inside your pot, the small pot, which lives inside the big pot. As you can see, we are missing one of the lids. That is a recent development. The original set does come with four lids. 
Once that's all packed away like so, we have your lid for the small pot. As you can see, it also comes with a handy strainer feature. We will touch on that in a bit, but that goes on there. The original set, you have a nine inch frying pan. Um, this is not the original frying pan. This is a replacement frying pan we used. The original frying pan kind of got past its life span, um, got a little banged up, so it was time to replace it. And we replaced it with a slightly smaller one. So on the original set, the frying pan lives up here. On our current set, the frying pan lives in between the two lids, like so. And then these all fit in this handy dandy carrying bag, which also doubles as a wash basin, which is really nice when you're back country and you don't want to carry big wash basins. You can throw your water, your dish soap in here and use it as your washing spot or as your rinsing spot. Again, another nice feature, not every pot set has that. A lot of pet pot sets have just a mesh bag that only serves to hold your pots. This has a nice double feature bag, which is for washing and for holding your pots. Okay, let's go through the pros and cons as I unpack this. So the first pro, as you can see, is it is relatively compact. Whoops, excuse me. As I mentioned, there are smaller pot sets you can get, but this one suits us just fine. As I mentioned, it's three pounds, nine inch diameter, six inches tall, not ridiculous. Especially for a group of four, it is an excellent size. You're probably not gonna be able to get much smaller if you have a group of four people. And for a group of two people, it's even better. <laughs> so the other thing I mentioned is it is all non-stick coating. Now this is a personal preference. I prefer non-stick coating over non-stick non coating pans. Non-stick non coating, that's a word. Anyhow, I prefer non-stick coating. It cleans up a lot easier. The only downside of that is you have to be extra careful with your non-stick coating. Be very careful when you're washing it. Be very careful when you are packing it because if you damage that non-stick coating, you're going to want to replace the pan. Uh, there is a bit of a toxic hazard if you are using pots and pans with damaged non-stick coating. That goes not only for your camp sets, but also for your household cookware as well. But I am putting that in the pro column because I prefer non-stick coating. So the other nice feature about having a pot set with so many parts is the ability to kind of pick and choose what you want to put in it. So for a four person trip, you're probably going to want, for example, all four cups and bowls. Um, we just came out of a eight day backcountry trip with just two people. And for that, I packed it like so. So we only had the one cup and bowl inside and that leaves a lot of extra space for other storage. Um, one option is you can stick your other random utensils in here. I know our friend Mark has another GSI product that is designed to fit in here in which you can hold utensils like this or things like your spices. Um, we store our matches in here, our washcloths or towels, that sort of thing. And that can even be said for these cups as well. Once it's all packed, other than the cup with the handle in it, you have space in the smaller cups for things like spices and cloths and possibly soap. So there is lots of versatility with how you pack it, what you want to bring, and how you want to use the space in the set. Another pro, as I mentioned earlier, is the locking handle. As I demonstrated, it is very handy to not drop your pot or have it accidentally slip off the handle. Uh, some pot sets, as I said, are just like a clamp style where you have to squeeze it with your hand the whole time and if you let go, the pot falls. And some pot sets have the integrated handles which tend to get very hot when you're cooking with them and I have burned myself on occasion with them. I realize that's user error, but it is still a potential thing that could happen with the integrated handles. So for me, this is a big pro. And I believe even a year or two before we purchased this one, they were using the clamp style handles for the Bugaboo campers, but we lucked out and got one of the first years with the locking handle. So that is a huge plus. Another very nice feature, which I'm not sure is gonna show up super well on the camera, are the measurement lines in the cups or in the bowls. This is very handy for mixing things up like powdered milk or anything else that you might be baking or cooking that requires measurements. Um, these are two cup bowls and you have both imperial and metric measurements inside, which come in very handy and negates the need to carry 
you know, like a separate specific measuring cup set. So another pro, as I mentioned earlier, is the carrying bag, which doubles as a wash basin. Um, I think that's a really good use of an item that otherwise would only have one use. I know a lot of other pot sets, including other GSI pot sets, the bag is just a simple mesh bag, which is a little bit lighter, but only serves as a way to carry the pot set. So this is a really nice feature, a really nice way to add an extra bit of utility to something that otherwise would only have one function. Okay, now for some of the cons. So as I mentioned, we've had this pot set for nine years. And if you assume we're camping about four weeks a year, that is only 36 weeks of use. And when you start having pot sets that look like that, after only 36 weeks, um, it's a little disappointing. I know camping pot sets are exposed to a lot harsher conditions than your in-house um, cookware, but I would like to see the coating last a little bit longer. I don't know if that's something that's even possible, but it is something I would like to see. Next, these orange tabs on the pot lids. They are very handy. That could not have worked out better. They are very handy for removing the lids from pots, but they do that almost immediately after buying them. So as you can see, there is not a whole lot to this tab. And that is something that tends to happen. As you can see, our other lid from our original set lost it almost immediately. And this one is apparently done as of filming this. So that could not have worked out better. Next, um, again, this is an older pot set, as I mentioned, but you can see, hopefully in this pot, that it is starting to get deformed around the handle area. You can see where the handle sits. And after nine years of use, we're starting to get an area here where the pot is failing. Eventually what's gonna happen is we're gonna have this pot full. This is going to crack and the pot is gonna fall off. Um, again, it is a nine year old set, so it's not that unreasonable, but it is something that you should watch out for. And again, assuming we've only used this for about 36 weeks, it's something that I would have liked to see last a little bit longer. Uh, another con I have for, not necessarily this pot set, but for GSI as a company, is you cannot replace individual components. Um, as I showed, this pot is starting to wear. Unfortunately, I cannot just go online and order a new pot and replace this pot. Um, there are some things, some parts online that you can order. For example, you can order extra holders, you can order extra pot lids, but you cannot order individual cook set pieces. Um, it's a little disappointing. I know the company has to make money too, but it would be nice if you could replace individual pieces rather than having to go out and replace the entire set when something like your frying pan fails or your pot fails. Now, that being said, I have not tried calling them. Maybe you've had different experience by phoning them up and requesting parts, but as far as their online ordering goes, you can only order certain individual bits online. You cannot order full on cookware. And the final con, which doesn't really impact me because I try my best not to use it, are these foams. Um, I mentioned these foams are for insulating your hot beverages from your hand or your cold beverages from your hand. But when these get wet, they are wet for a very long time. Uh, for example, when you're backcountry camping, you might not have a full day to have these sitting out on a rock and drying, which means they are constantly getting put away wet and they never get a full chance to dry. And after four or five days of dampness being crammed inside of something like that, they develop a bit of a funk, which is not super pleasant. So what I tend to do is just not use them. And in that case, it's no longer a con because it doesn't exist. But if you are thinking about buying this pot set, just keep in mind that although these do have some function to them, they do not dry easily. So be careful on getting them wet and be careful when you wash them. Okay, there you have it. That is the Bugaboo Camper Pot Set by GSI. Um, despite some of the cons I mentioned, I think the pros far outweigh them. Um, I do really like this pot set, and I know this particular pot set is getting a little up there in age, and I will probably be replacing it with the same pot set. I like it that much. 
Uh, as I mentioned, it does everything I need it to. Um, it's not too big, it's not too small. There's a little bit of wiggle room with how you pack it. You can stick things in some of the voids. It's just, I just really, really like it. I think it's really well done. Well done, GSI. So thank you so much for watching. That is the end of our review. I really hope you enjoyed. If you did, please give us a like and subscribe. It helps us out a lot and we will see you next time.